Dr. Jason Fung, Reverse Diabetes Type 2, What to Eat and What to Avoid. Remember that if you are on medication, please be sure to check with your doctor first and also follow up during this process. This is the simple one-page sheet that patients were provided that told them what kind of diet to follow. Very simple rules. First of all, sugar, just cut it out altogether. The other thing is with starchy carbohydrates, remember that when they get broken down, they're often broken down into glucose, which is a type of sugar. So things like bread, rice, potatoes, try to reduce them significantly. The other green vegetables are all fine. You should eat as much as you want. Turn the white stuff into the green stuff so that you get a nice big dinner still. Fruit is a little bit trickier because some fruits tend to be very sweet and therefore have a lot of sugar in them. Others like berries tend to be much better and you can be a little bit more relaxed with those. Eat lots of healthy protein, so things like meat, eggs, fish, oily fish, full fat yogurt is good, good breakfast, he notes as well. And fats in moderation are fine. Make sure you stick to natural fats. Things like olive oil, butter, uh, coconut oil are fats that are found in nature. They're unprocessed. Beware of low fat foods. They can often have a lot of sugars and sweeteners and cheese only in moderation because it can be very easy to overeat them. The other thing is to make sure you avoid snacks because they can be very habit forming and it's very easy to eat them without thinking and therefore overeat them too much. In essence, you're eating lots of vegetables with proteins and healthy fats and that leaves you feeling properly full in a way that lasts and therefore you do not need to snack all the time. And finally, about sweeteners, just cut them out. They trick your brain into thinking that you're hungry and make it even harder to lose weight. They also give a infographic just demonstrating how much equivalent sugars are in certain foods, just to drive home how much sugar can be contained and why it needs to be avoided, especially very starchy foods. And that's really all there is to it. If you can switch over to cutting down the carbohydrates, emphasizing the green vegetables, non-starchy vegetables, proteins, and healthy fats, then you stand a good chance of reversing type 2 diabetes. Again, remembering that type 2 diabetes is not that hard to understand. It's like a rain barrel. If you are filling it up with too much water, it's going to spill over, just like the sugar is going to spill over into our body. The best thing is not to get lots of mops and clean it up all the time. The best thing is to turn off the tap. And when you do that, you can stop filling up the body with sugar, and therefore the blood sugar falls, and then you stand a good chance of reversing type 2 diabetes. If you're on medication, check with your doctor before you start a low-carb diet and follow up during this process. The diet that was done at the clinic suggested that severely cut back on sugar and starchy carbs because when they're broken down, they convert to sugar. Things like bread, rice, potatoes. However, other green veggies are fine. Severely cut back on fruit. Some are loaded with sugar. Berries, however, are low in sugar. Eat lots of proteins, including meat of all types, eggs, fish, oily fish like salmon, full cream yogurt, unprocessed fats. These are generally animal fats like lard, suet, butter, and non-seed oils like olive oil, coconut oil. Be aware of low-fat food. 
it's usually high in sugar or artificial sweetener chemicals. And be aware of cheese because it's easy to eat too much. Avoid snacks because they are easily addictive. Summary. Eat lots of vegetables, green vegetables, and some berries. Proteins, meat, eggs, fish, full cream yogurt. And unprocessed fats, not the seed oils, not the vegetable oils. These foods will fill you up, so snacking is not a problem. How about sweeteners? Cut them out. They trick your brain and make you feel hungry. Plus, a low-carb diet that's rich in fat and delicious meats will start eliminating your sweet tooth. Sweeteners keep it hanging on. Some examples of how much sugar is in these foods. Rice, 10 teaspoons of sugar. One potato, 9 teaspoons of sugar. French fries, 7.5 teaspoons of sugar besides the vegetable oils that are in french fries. Sweet corn, four teaspoons. A banana, six teaspoons. In summary, if you cut the carbs, eat non-starchy veggies, eat animal proteins, eat unprocessed fats, then you can reverse type 2 diabetes.